Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Cornegy, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. Council Member Richards. You, you disturbing my, my, my hearing. You're acting real short today. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Councilmember Robert Cornegy, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold a vote on proposed Intro 30-A, sponsored by Councilmember Chin, which relates to the recovery of tenant relocation expenses. When a building owner's negligence or failure to maintain a property results in unsafe living conditions and the issuance of a vacate order, HPD has the authority to relocate displaced tenants and recover associated expenses. However, recovering these expenses can be difficult for HPD, in large part because they're currently assessed against the building as a low priority mechanics lien. Proposed intro number 30-A would discourage building owners' negligence and strengthen the ability of HPD to recover relocation expenses by, mix, by instead imposing a high priority tax lien through which HPD can more effectively pursue repayment. I'm joined today by Council Members Fer Ferrer Luis, uh, Richie Torres, Bill Perkins, uh, Francisco Moya, Barry Gadenchik, and Carlina Rivera. And um, uh, my colleague and the bill sponsor uh, has a statement. Thank you, Chair. I'm proud to join the Committee on Housing and Buildings to vote on my bill, Intro 30A, which will serve as a groundbreaking new tool to hold the city's worst landlord accountable to the burden that tenants experience as a result of a vacate order and get them home sooner. This bill will require the Department of Housing, Preservation, and Development to create a first-of-its-kind system to charge landlords for temporary relocation costs. By requiring landlords to pay up for the temporary housing for residents displaced by a vacay order, this bill will ease the burden on displaced families, hold bad landlords accountable for their repeated offenses against tenants, incentivize landlords to complete the required repair work faster so that tenants can return home as soon as possible. As our city continues to face an unprecedented affordability crisis, we have to work creatively and aggressively to hold negligent landlords accountable and break down the pipeline to the shelter system. No longer can landlords take a back seat to the suffering they have caused to tenants displayed by a vacay order. The buck has to stop here. I thank all the lawyers and analysts at the central staff for their work on this bill, and thank you, Chair Carnegie, for your support and leadership, and for HBD for your partnership. I urge all my colleagues to vote yes on the bill. Thank you. Committee Clerk, can you take the roll? Lee Martin, Committee Clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Housing and Building, Buildings, Introduction 30-A, Chair Carnegie. I vote aye. Chin. I vote aye. Torres. Gordenchik. Perkins. Aye. Rivera. Aye. By vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative. Councilmember Lewis. By vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Uh, the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Oh, we're going to leave the roll open uh, for Councilmember Rosenthal, who's at a press conference for a few minutes. <laughs> 